This is part two in the Life Force game tutorial. If you watched the first part, you know I was going to tell you a secret about the boss character. While fighting the forces of evil and f flying through the space-time continuum, I got to this guy who thoroughly wasted me. If you don't think he's hard, go ahead and download the tutorial and try him out yourself. But something cool about this guy is he's not all one piece. In fact, anything that I wanted to be a separate piece, I made it. In that case, you were able to destroy his guns and eventually destroy him by killing the heart of the beast. So how do I do this? Now, I th this is probably something everyone already knows, but for me it was cool. But I'm not very good at programming, so I find loopholes in how to do things. So instead of figuring this guy out, we're not going to go to his his object file. We are going to the sprites. <coughs> Under the bra sprites, you'll notice that he is all in individual pieces. Every piece, in fact, that I wanted to be uh, having a separate code or just be damaged separately from the whole. But, as my centerpiece, I wanted to use the sphere, which is kind of like the planet's gravity. That's the center gravity point that all the pieces will follow. Now, to make this possible, first of all, I made this graphic, and then the graphic was a whole one piece. You'll notice that the bounding box is rather big. I don't have it cropped really small. It's really big. In fact, it, the whole if the whole ship was there, it'd fit inside. So the first thing you're going to want to do is upload your graphic and then copy them and, pay and duplicate them several times. In this case, I duplicated my boss piece nine times because I knew I wanted nine pieces. And we're going to go to the first piece, which is your center point. And I'm going to edit sprite. And then you want to delete all the graphics around them. So you want to delete everything except, in this case, I left the sphere. And after that was done, I went to boss piece number two, which this is already finished. I wish I had my original here, but I was kind of dumb about it and deleted it. Then I have a go to this one, and I delete everything. I delete the sphere in the middle, and I, I leave everything except that piece. And so I have another piece. And you continue to do that until all your pieces are done. And then when you place them down, it's kind of easy. You just go bosses. I want a boss here. Here's the spear. Here's the here's the second piece. You know, you just put it there. It doesn't matter where I put it. Honestly, I could put it here. And when you start the game, boop, they'll all go right together. And this is why. Under your object file, you have all the boss pieces, and you go to that center point, the sphere, and you have. A, uh, this guy kind of controls the rotation and and if, if he gets hit he's gonna die you know after a certain amount of hits but I went to the wrong file all the other pieces if you go to boss 2 under the step event you'll have a command it'll say jump to position what position is he gonna jump to the boss piece 1 which was my center point dot x boss p piece one dot y. So wherever my, wherever my little sphere is floating around this this point, this guy's gonna follow. They're all all these pieces are gonna follow. Get rid of that. So in under every boss piece it's the same thing. Under the step event this this is a gun so it has a few more codes because it shoots. But I have the jump to position boss piece one boss dot x and dot y. And that's it. Uh, you're going. To, I'm not going to explain all how I made him turn and shoot and stuff. It's just go ahead and open the file and find out for yourself. If you want to play this game with a friend, slap down player number two. He's not fully configured, but you can edit him a bit and play this game with a friend. Have fun.